Hey guys, I'm Matt from Old Hat Outdoors and I wanted to do a duck cooking video for you. You got a few steps though. There's a few steps to make this successful. Step number one, go shoot some ducks. Welcome back. It's been four days since we had that awesome duck hunt with Sean, a limit of greenheads and some geese. And we're gonna clean these ducks now. I know, I know what you're thinking. You haven't cleaned them yet? But it used to be fairly common practice that you would age your ducks and geese before you clean them and eat them when the temperatures are right. So the temperature in my garage is in the low 40s. And what I do is I age, typically age my waterfowl for three to five days, depending on the weather. I lay them breast up, that way just in case there's any shot that's gone through the guts, it doesn't seep into the meat. And we sit them right here, right here. As my wife says, in the way of the drawer she wants to get into. That's important. So these have been sitting for four days. We're gonna pick them, pick the breast clean. I'm gonna show you how I, I'm gonna show you how I prefer to, to clean these and cook them. And then we are gonna eat them. We're gonna eat them. So let's get cleaning. Okay, first steps first, you want to face the duck away from you. You're gonna have it breast up like this and you're gonna start rolling feathers, what I call uphill. Just rolling your thumb across the breast. Just gonna make sure you get all the way down to the sides, down to about the armpits there. Okay, we're gonna try to get as much of the downy feathers off, for sure the big ones, as much of the downy feathers off as we can. But I'm gonna show you a trick that'll help speed that process up. Bring the duck down here by the fire. So bring the duck here close to the fire. Get those feathers in there. You'll know you're doing it right when you'll start smelling it. Just gonna try to burn that down off of there. Once the duck breast looks like this, where most of the feathers are off, you get as many as you can. We're gonna leave the skin on. All right, we're on step seven, or I don't know where we're at. Step seven, get your sharp knife, leave the skin on. You have the breastbone that goes right down the middle. If you've cleaned ducks before, you know where that is. And you are gonna essentially fillet all right, right along the edge. And then up here is kind of a Y bone, it's kind of an, like a collarbone. You can go up to here, angle it down. So just fillet it like you normally would, except we get the skin on. So this is what you end up with. You've got skin on one side, meat on the other. We'll clean that up in the, in the sink. Make sure you take this, what we call a little back strap out of there. And then simply repeat on the other side. There you go. Okay, we're gonna get these legs at the end with everything else. Okay, so I'm not sure what step we're on, but we've got one duck taken care of. Here's what it looks like. The skin's still on, that's important. That's gonna provide a crispy, flavorful experience for you as you enjoy the fruits of your harvest. All right, I got a few more ducks to go here, but why? Do I age my waterfowl and why should you try it? First of all, you got to make sure you get the right temperature. If you get, if you get too cold, the meat freezes and the aging doesn't work. If it's too warm, then your birds can just get rotten and gross. So from what I've read and what I've experienced, there's two things that happen when you age birds. The first is they start to dry out, which makes total sense. It starts to dry out and the flavors in the meat concentrates into what's left as the moisture evaporates. Second, and this is I think why most people do this, is there's natural enzymes that happen throughout this process that break down the meat, allowing it to be more tender, not only more flavorful, but more tender. And I think that's the most noticeable thing that you'll experience when, you're, when you try this at home. So it concentrates the flavor, breaks down the meat so it's more tender. But I'm gonna show you not only that, there's a, there's a specific way that I like to cook duck, whether I age it or not. And so, so I'm gonna finish up these ducks and then we're gonna go cook up what we have and enjoy a delicious mallard dinner. All right, buddy, here's what we have. We've got six duck breasts, so three ducks, skin on, cleaned them up, washed them up good. They've been sitting, drying up a little bit, and I'm gonna barbecue them for you right now. But first we have to put in our seasonings. We've got pepper, Laurie's, Montreal steak, and some red pepper, crushed pepper. Sound good? We're gonna cover it. Generous, gen, generously, generously cover it with that. The Montreal steak. Let's open the big side. Let's open the big boy side. Okay. Okay. 
and then some pepper. Okay, and then some crushed red pepper. How much, do you ask? Enough that I'm taking it off of this too. Okay, <laughs> and then get in here, stir it around, just so everybody gets covered up. Is this your first cooking show? Yeah. Mmm. Okay. Smell it. Get down there and smell it. Smell good? Yeah? Mm, yeah. It'll do. All right. I'm going to let that sit and absorb for a half an hour. And then, and then I'm going to cook it for you. We're going to barbecue it. Okay. We got the grill out of like 375. We have our duck breast all seasoned up and we're going to put it meat side down first. It's going to be hot. Can you get a good sizzle? We want the skin to be crispy. Oh, that smells delicious, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And we don't want to overcook this. If you overcook it, that's why people don't like duck. It sounds like the duck is cheering for us. Like, yes. Okay, we're going to close the lid and leave it on you for about three minutes. We're going to flip it and do the same. All right, three minutes in. Do a quick flip. Now the goal of leaving the skin on is there's just a rich flavor in that skin. And then when, I, when you grill it like this, why do we like it, Pear? Because it's... Good. It's because it's good. <laughs> because it's crispy. Let's close that up for another three minutes. All right, just flipping these guys over. You want it crispy like that. Ooh. Make sure you have a short fork so you bring your fingers. Okay, I think we're good here, buddy. You want it juicy like that, right? You don't want mm -hmm. it, see how the juices are still in there? A lot of that juice comes from leaving the skin on. Okay. So this would be great on a sandwich, you know? Ooh. But we don't necessarily have time for that. So I'm just gonna cut it thin. And we don't have good bread. We don't have your homemade bread. And you see how pink? You want it juicy like that. Now you're spouse or significant other may say, ew. That's when you say, hey, more for me. Why don't you try that little corner piece right there. Or you can do the big one. You can go oh, all in if you want. I mean, okay. <laughs> You're not really a good judge of food though because you eat just about everything. I don't, so I'll oh, try it. Juicy. That's, good. that's really good. Is it fairly tender? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's perfect. Four days we aged it, and now we're cutting it nice and thin. We get the crispy skin. Oh, that's good. Oh my gosh. Like that doesn't taste, at least piece I have, it was not gamey at all. This guy's better than Gordon Ramsay. See, the skin gives you a lot of juice, a lot of rich flavor. I'm not just saying it. I mean, I could be making this up. The only way for you to really know is for you to try it yourself. So guys, there you have it. Thank you for watching. This is our our aged mallard on the grill after an awesome hunt last Saturday. Anything else you want to say, boys? It's probably one of like the best duck I've ever had. Yeah? Yeah. No. He usually doesn't make it this good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you soon, guys.